So when Srila Gurudev said, if Guru Maharaj tells us something, and he's saying very happily, he's saying, we know that it's true. We know it not only is true, that it's perfect. So then we can always begin from that position and then measure anything, weigh it, value it, assess it, because we have such a perfect master. Right. <clears throat> so, Srila uh, Guru Maharaj, when he composed the Pranam Mantram, uh, of Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat, then you know that it is the perfect, comprehensive, complete representation of what is the Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. Sri Maj Chaitanya Saraswata Mata Bara Udgita Kirtir Jayasrim Vibrat Sambhati Ganga Tata Nikata Navadvipa Koladi Rajay Yatra Sri Gaura Sara Swata Nirata Gaura Gata Grananti Nityam Rupanuga Sri Kritimati Guru Gauranga Radha Jitasha. <clears throat> the conceptual architecture of Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat has been given by Srila Guru Maharaj in the Pranam Mantram. He says, Sri Mat Chaitanya Saraswata Mata Bara. Udgita kirtir jayasrim. Udgita means loudly. Kirti, kirtir, kirtan. Of whom? Uh, kirtan, sometimes kirti means uh, to glorify. Jayasri. Jayasrim. Jayasri means Srimati Radharani. So he's saying the Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat has been established to loudly proclaim the glories of Srimati Radharani to the world. This is the Sri Gorana Matam Srupa Viditam Rupa Agrajayanadra. This is the reason that Mahaprabhu is descended in this world. Bahiranga Sange Kori Nam Sankirtam Antaranga Sange Kori Rasa Ashvadan. Right? Sri Radhaya Mahima, Pranaya Mahima, Kidusha Vanayeva, Sadra Yenadvuta, Ashvada Yenadvuta, Madurima, Kidusham, uh, Vedi, no, Va Madhya, Sokyam Chasya Maranu Babita, Kidusham Veti Lobhat, Tad Bhava Dya Samajani, Sachi Garba Sindhu Harindu, this is in the beginning of Sri Ch uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita. Why did Mahaprabhu really, what are his personal reasons for descending in this world? He's giving Nam Sankirtan, but what are his personal reasons? To uh, the love of Radharani that she alone possesses, uh, Sri Radhaya Pranaya Mahima, to understand the glories of that, to promote the glories of that to the world. So Udgita Kirtir Jayasrim, to spread the glories of Radharani in the world. Yadi Gorna Hoite Tabiki Hoite Kemani Daritam Dehe, Radhar Mahima Prema Rasasima Jagata Janata Ke, and my Basu Ghosh. Same thing. And, what is that? Bibrat Sambhati Ganga Tata. What is its location? Right, what is the GPS of Chaitanya Saraswat Mat? But spiritually speaking, not mundane geography. It has, it's located in a particular spiritual domain. Right? Ganga Tata. On the, tata means the bank. On the banks of the Ganga. Where? Ganga Tata Navadip. In Navadip, on the banks of the Ganga. But where, to be more specifically? Koladri Raje means Adri Raj, means Giri Raj. So Kolad Navadipa Ko, Ganga Tata Navadipa Koladri Raje means on the banks of the Ganga and Gupta Govardhan and Navadip Dham. That's its location. From there, from that position, 
the glories of Radharani will be broadcast loudly, profoundly, with great magnitude all over the world. Then in Guru Maharaj's own words, he said, what are the activities of the members of Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat? At the Sri Go, uh, uh, Gora Saraswata Nirata Gora Gata Grananti Gora Kata, Kata talking about Mahaprabhu and spreading the glories of Mahaprabhu Yata Yata Gora Bhattara Vinde Vinde to Bhaktim Krita Punya Rasi Tata to Tot Sarpati Hridya Kasmad Radha Padamboja Sudamburasi by dedicating oneself in service to the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu, what, those who are Sukritivan, Sumedasa, right? the Krita Punya Punja, Sumedasa, <coughs> Sukritivan, who are <coughs> possessed of fine theistic intelligence, they'll realize the entrance to Vrindavan is in Navadvip. Every atom of Navadvipa is capable of giving Vrindavan in full. The entrance into Krishna Lila is through Gaur Lila. Krishna Lila Amrita Sar Tar Shata Shata Dar Das Dike Bahajaha Hoite Se Chaitanya Lila Hoi Sarovra Akshoi Manusa Hansa Chara Tahate. What is generally reserved for the highest group of liberated souls? exclusive is being distributed in the ten directions through Gaur Lila. That means Krishna Lila, Krishna Lila Amrita Sar. It's reserved for the highest section of liberated souls. Now that's being liberally distributed in all directions. Anarpita charim chirat korne abhityana kalo samar payetam unurtojula rasam suvakti sriyam namo mahavaranaya krishna prema pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitana Namne Gora Tushaya Nama. Gora Gadha Grananti, glorifying Mahaprabhu. What did we, we who styled ourselves as members of the Krishna consciousness movement, what was immediately observable and overwhelming coming within the orbit of Srila Guru Maharaj and his divine holy lotus feet? Mahaprabhu, Radharani, we thought up to that point that Krishna was in the center and everyone was secondary to Krishna. Right? Krishna consciousness movement, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna people, right? Everything, Krishna, Krishna. And still everything is Krishna, Krishna. And Krishna is in the center. But what did we... Uh, uh, become aware of by the mercy of His Divine Grace. Saying, but Krishna is in the secondary position. Radharani is in the primary position. Madhura Rasa is the original Adi Rasa, Mukya Rasa. All the other Rasas, Guru Maharaj said, are customers. They're customers of Madhura Rasa. <clears throat> They're satellites. It's the original. We like to say, no, it goes Shanta, Dasya, Sakya, Vatsanya, Madhura. That's not untrue. But more to the point, it's Madhura Rasa, Adi Rasa, is the origin of everything. Janmadhyasya Yataha. Paraki above, Paraki Rasa is the origin of everything. And then from there comes Vatsanya, Sakya, Dasya, Shanta, and everything else. When Guru Maharaj said, Madhvacharya says it goes this way, from you know, uh, a thing, the devata of that thing, the guru of it, Baladev, Radha Govinda, Chid Lilamritam. And he's saying, Madhvacharya says this. Madhvacharya. What does Guru Maharaj say? But I say just the opposite. He says the opposite of Madhvacharya? How can you do that? Is that okay? Is that bona fide? <laughs> if you look in the poetry of Srila Guru Maharaj, where he says, uh, about when he's praising Bhaktivinoda Thakur, that line, uh, and the Bhaktivinoda Vira Hadasakam, what it says is that 
what you're giving goes beyond what was given by Ramanuja and Madhva. That's what it's saying. It exceeds what they've given. So when Guru Maharaj says, I say, Madhva charges says that, I say just the opposite. Everything starts with Radha and Govinda and their Chidlilamritam, Chidlila, divine pastimes. Goragata Grananti, right? And the, uh, what are you saying? If you dedicate your serving capital to the lotus feet of Guru Goranga, what happens? Tatat, tatat, tatot sarpati, hridya kasmat, radha padamboja sudamburase. Right? Automatically, subconsciously, deep within the core of the heart, the radha, rasa, shuddha, nidhi begins to flow. So that one springs out of the soil of Vrindavan, Radha Padman Kitadam Vrindavan Jaranam, that soil that's embellished with the lotus footprints of Srimati Radharani. With the service aspiration, Radhika Madhavasam, right? It's given by Raghunath Das Goswami. Guru Maharaj saying, normally, Guru Dev telling too, normally, his devote, real devotees, they're saying they've not got. They're always in the hankering position, in want. Right? He said, but in this verse, in the last line, he's saying what he got. Namas res to manavapi sachiputra trasvarupam rupam tasyagraja madhupurim matrim gostavatim radha kundam. Giri Maho Radhika Maravasam Radhika Maravasam Prapto I mean I, what, I got all this by the grace of Guru Prapto Jasya Pratita Kripaya Sri Gurun Tanmatosmi You've given Namasrestam Radha Kund all of these things but Radhika Maravasam means that aspiration for the service Radha Dasyam for the service of the Holy Lotus Feet of Srimati Radharani that's there. Nityam uh, Rupa Nuga Kritimati Guru Gauranga Radha Jitasha. Same thing. Radhika Maravasam. Nityam Rupa Nuga. In the line of Sri Rupa. Rupa Nuga. So everything given there very perfectly by Srila Guru Maharaj. And in a way, it cannot be modified in that sense, adulterated. With, if we become acquainted with the contents of this sloka, the, then we will forever and always know what is the substantial aspect of Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mahat. Right. And the Krishna consciousness movement, if you read Sri Guruna's Grace, when Guru Maharaj responding, People say, what is Krishna consciousness? He said, Raghunath. He said, do you think Raghunath Das Goswami knows what it is? The Krishna consciousness movement? And he quotes this sloka. That's Raghunath Das's sloka, what it is. And we see Guru Maharaj's the pranam of the Chaitanya Saraswat Mat mirrors the spiritual substance given by Raghunath Das Goswami. How perfect is that? That's why Guru Dev would just so, with such affection and happiness, say, yeah, Guru Maharaj is good. We know it's perfect. We already know it's perfect. And what I mean to say by that was when he gets at the Emli Tal and there's some sloka of Guru Maharaj saying, what is the year when Mahaprabhu came there and sat beneath the Emli tree and because in the spiritual world, it may have some connection when he observed Radharani and separation and then got the inspiration to descend as Mahaprabhu. That's another story, infinite. But so Guru Maharaj wrote a sloka and it has the date. And 
Gurudev as a young boy visiting there, just came from Badrinath or the tour. And these old God brothers, that they're all there and they can't decipher this sloka. They can't figure, what does it say? And what is the date? And they're thinking, the date to them appears to contradict what Saraswati Thakur has said, or what's given in Charitamrita. They, they can't figure it out. So Gurudev, he says, I know if Guru Maharaj has written it, it's perfect. That's how he starts his interpretation. Right? We're told, Yasya Deve, Prabhakti, Yata Deve, Tathagaro, Tashyoite, Katita, Hyarta, Prakashante, Mahatmana. If you have that kind of faith in your guru, everything will be revealed to you. So he doesn't even know yet. He just has so much faith in the lotus feet of the Guru Maharaj. If Guru Maharaj wrote it, it's perfect. It has to be. He knows that. He knows it in his heart. It's perfect. So then he starts looking at it, knowing that it's perfect. And because he has that type of Guru Bhakti, Prakashan Te Mahama, everything's being revealed to him in real time. Streaming reality is coming out of the sloka. Then he says, says Ratneshu Vidanite. Vedanite. Ratneshu Vidanite. He knows there's a system. He's been trained by Srila Guru. There's a system. When they write dates, uh, kavis, competent uh, poets, we're talking about spiritual poets here, they have a system of numbers. Like, for example, char, four Vedas. So Veda can mean four. But sometimes there's three Veda. So sometimes Veda means three. Uh, there's Navaratna, means nine jewels. So if they put Ratna, it can mean nine. Sometimes it means five, Pancharatna. So there's a code word for one, a code word for two, three, three Netra, like three eyes of Shiva and Durga. So Netra can mean three. There's a system. What will be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? So Gurudev says, says Ratneshu Vidanite. So, and, they, and then they put it in backwards. So they use this code, and it's, the numbers are backwards. So only those who are qualified and have some mystic ability and capacity can extract and know. So Gurudev sees that it says, 954, put it backwards, 459. So in the year of 459, Mahaprabhu came and sat beneath this tree. And he reveals to these old, they're there with the beards and the old, that it's 459 on that uh, uh, Bengali calendar. Right. And they're astonished. <laughs> I think he's a kid. How does this kid know that it's the year 459? And Gurudev's answer, because if it is written by Guru Maharaj, we know it's perfect. <laughs> so Srila Guru Maharaj is that perfect guru and Srila Gurudev is the perfect servitor of the perfect guru. That's the Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. <clears throat> Hare Krishna.